We are in the historical town of Thurmond in West Virginia. This is in the New River Gorge, which was just recently made into a national park. Uh, we read that this is one of the best well-preserved ghost towns. 1873, Captain Thurmond acquired 73 acres along the river. In 1910, Thurmond ranked first in revenue receipts on the CNO mainline. Thing that it ran until 1984 when they closed the depot. It's a really fun bridge to cross. The cars go on one side and the train goes on the other side. I imagine it's quite a thrill when the train goes and then it's a one lane bridge. And on top of that, there's a place for pedestrians to walk and then get a view of the river. Look, can you imagine being the person that had to walk on them stairs up to that platform to change the lights for the train? So we just walked up a serious hill. Check out more of the town. Can't tell by my huffing and puffing that I walked up a hill. But there's houses on the side of this uh, mountain here. Uh, there's one in the bushes right here and then one in front of us. And then you have one all the way up there. They all appear to be in really good shape. My wife was reading that they are starting to preserve the buildings to redo them. This looks like a driveway to someone's house back here. I see a pretty creepy garage. Oh, I do see a house on top of the hill here. It looks very modern. We have uh, drywall, plaster. Oh, there's a light. Kind of. And then there's uh, plugs and stuff in the wall. So, oh, and there's uh, a thermostat. So you can rent a house here and stay in a ghost town if you want. Can't cross. Dime. So we made it back from the ghost town. We're staying in the New River Gorge. This place is called Army Camp and it is free to stay here, and it's a really nice little campsite. It's not the first time we've used it, but the first time we've used it camping is our Blackstone Grill. So, so far we're really enjoying it. It makes things easy to cook things out here. So, still trying to learn how to use the thing. The seasoning is a little bit different when you're cooking on a cast iron uh, fire than when you're doing it in a pot uh, electric in the house. So.
So I have to say, I was a little disappointed this morning. We had planned on doing a hike down to another ghost town, but it was pretty far away. And we're just making a short stop here. We're on our way to the beach for some uh, relaxing, but we'll definitely have to come back here. There's just a lot of fun things to see in this area. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but there is also the river is right here as well. So when we were sleeping last night, you could hear the water rushing over the rocks. But this campground here looks like it was one of the best ones. We checked out the one that was right next to the trail, and then we went to the sandbar one. And this one here looked really, really nice. And you can get your trailer, if you have a trailer, down here. Though the road is a little uh, tight in the beginning part. There's a lot of branches and stuff, and very narrow, so be very careful. But we are going eat some breakfast we've got the bacon and we're gonna make uh, English muffin sandwiches here I feel like I had to get used to this griddle here, but boy, it is really nice. It makes cooking very easy. We wanted to get one of those, you see in the, a lot of the overlanding channels, it's like a giant walk, and it just costs an arm and a leg, and this one only costs like an arm, so <laughs> it's much better for this one here. So do you like this thing, the grill? I, I love this thing. It takes me back to when we used to live off grid and could cook everything at one time on the cast iron. I miss that a lot. And everything just cooks so nice and fast. Mm hmm. They're even just toasting up our muffins. So, guys, I think that'll be it for us. Thanks for coming along.